What is an infectious disease and how do infections spread? This lecture looks at infection and different modes of transmission. Here's one definition of infectious or communicable disease. An illness due to a specific infectious agent or its toxic products that arises through transmission of that agent or its products from an infected person, animal or reservoir to a susceptible host, either directly or indirectly. The important point here is that it's something that transmits and this can be direct or indirect. There are several different types of transmission. Infections can transmit person to person. This can require actual contact, the skin to skin, for example staphylococcal skin infections, or from mucosa to mucosa as occurs in sexually transmitted infections. Body fluids can be an important source of infection and to how the things are transmitted. This might be blood or urine or sweat or other body fluids. And there's also vertical transmission, mother to child transmission, as seen, for example, with HIV infection. Infections can also transmit via fomites. These are physical objects that can carry infection and they often get infected through the body fluids. And there may be things such as handkerchiefs or the bedclothes or the eating utensils. And infections can also transmit short distances through droplets. And this is different from airborne infections where you get an aerosol and infections can travel much larger distances. And this is seen, for example, with measles or tuberculosis. Infections can also transmit indirectly. This can involve a vehicle such as food, as we see with a food poisoning, salmonella or campylobacter, or through water, as we see with cholera or hepatitis A. And sometimes they'll involve a vector. An example would be malaria, where the life cycle goes from the human to the mosquito to the human, and the mosquito is the vector responsible for transmitting the parasite onto the human. Some infections have a reservoir. That's to say, the place where they normally live is outside of man. Their natural habitat could be in an animal or a plant or the environment. If it's an animal and the infection transmits to man, it's known as a zoonosis. And the infection can happen in different ways. It can be direct, for example, with rabies. Rabies in the dog gets into the saliva and into the humans when they bite. Or it can be indirect, for example, with plague. Plague in the rats gets from the fleas then gets into the humans. Or it could be via water, as in leptospirosis. Rats and dogs are infected with leptospirosis. It gets into their urine, into the water that way, and then may infect the humans. So what about Ebola? The reservoir for Ebola is not man, and it's thought probably that it's fruit bats. This is their natural habitat. Fruit bats seem to be able to get infections without getting ill. And it's a zoonosis. It can be transmitted from the bats by eating the bats or because the bats infect other animals from eating other animals that are infected or contact with these animals. Probably also possible to transmit from fruit that bats have half eaten that's then got fomites from their saliva and then it gets infections into people. But Ebola can also transmit person to person after that initial infection has happened from the bats or bushmeat. And this occurs through actual contact, and body fluids are particularly important, from fomites, from physical objects, and probably also over short distances. But importantly, Ebola is not airborne. 